Hi, this is Julie with the Pigeon Letters Design Team. Uh, today we are going to be making a lemon collage, um, just a cute little piece of fruit. Uh, we're gonna use acrylic paints, um, some scissors, and I mean really not much more than that. So let me walk you through it, um, and I can't wait to see what you make. All right, so this is everything you're gonna need. Um, let's start with the paper. So for the actual painting, this is a nine by 12 piece of oil and acrylic paper. It's just like a little pad. I believe it's Canson brand. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can use watercolor paper or cardstock. I just like how it has the texture that kind of makes it look like a little canvas. Um, and we are going to be putting our collage pieces onto an eight by 10 piece of paper. This is, um, this is a watercolor paper. Again, I just like the texture. Um, if you don't have an eight by 10 piece of watercolor paper, you can use cardstock or something because we're just gonna be gluing onto this. So that's not uh, super important. Um, you are going to need a flat, um, wash brush. This is a one inch watercolor brush, uh, a pencil, some glue. This is a glue stick. Um, you can use tacky glue or Mod Podge or whatever you have handy. Um, some scissors and the colors. So you'll need some white acrylic. Um, I chose two yellows. This one is called lemon yellow. Um, it's a little bit brighter little more of a green tint to it. Uh, this is just a cadmium yellow medium hue. And then the fallow green. So this green is a, a little bit more of like a blue to it and some white. Um, if you don't have acrylics, but you have like gouache, also great. If your yellows are a little different, that's fine. Um, if you need to like mix your yellows, maybe if you have just the one color, mix one with some uh, white or green, just like a touch, and then mix the other one with maybe some reds, just so you get some cool and warm tones because I think that that's fun. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna put these on your palette. And I know that my palette is a little chaotic and you guys know that I just like to stress you out. So, <laughs> about that much of the medium yellow. And then we'll do some of this lemon yellow over here, right next to it. Um, the fallow green, just stick that over here. Oop. And then some white. Okay, oh man, I'm such a mess, guys. I apologize. <laughs> all right, so take, uh, move all your stuff over and also have some water available and like a little uh, towel or something to when you switch between colors, we're not muddying everything up completely. So we are gonna take your bigger piece of paper, the nine by 12, and we're just gonna kind of paint some big blocks of the yellow and the green and then let that dry so we can uh, cut into it. So let's start first with the yellow. Grab your medium hue. That's kind of gonna be the base for your lemons. Um, and you're just gonna go, we're gonna basically make a big rectangle um, using both of the yellow colors. So I like it to look a little streaky and not perfectly flat. I think it adds a fun um, texture to the whole thing. And if you wanna grab both colors at the same time, also super fun. <laughs> All right, there's really no way that you can go wrong here. Just channel your inner Bob Ross. Get some happy little yellows, okay? Um, if you can hear my children screaming in the background, I apologize, they are swimming and they are not being murdered. It just sounds terrifying. <laughs> All right. Okay, and you just, just make your square big enough. Um, we're gonna cut out the lemons here and here, you know, the football shape of them. So depending on how big you think you're gonna want them when we glue them together is about how big 
you're gonna want to make this lemon piece I mean this yellow piece all right so rinse your brush out a little bit um, chaos and you're gonna take a little bit of the white and starting on the outside uh, just kind of mix it in there just add some fun little streaks along them right along the sides don't mix these in too much I mean you can but I say don't mix these in too much because they're fun right <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let that dry. So rinse your brush out all the way this time. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Do what you want, but we're going for the green, the fallow green. So uh, let's see. Go ahead and we are just gonna do kind of a smaller rectangle here. This is just for the leaves. Uh, we're gonna go with the same angled technique. This time, um, you wanna mix a little water in it or some flow aid if you have that. I don't know why this one is so thick. This time, you're just gonna use the same green all the way. And it doesn't need to be a perfect rectangle. I mean, you can do that if you want, but we're just really cutting out of the center of it. So, I mean, don't, don't stress about it too much. Okay, so we got the green, all right. Leave your, you can wipe your brush off a little bit. Um, we're gonna grab a little bit of the lemon yellow, which was the lighter color that had a little bit of uh, cool tone to it. So just grab a little bit and just like you did with the white over here, um, go on the outside and just kind of brush it in. This will add some really cool texture and interest to your cute little leaves. And we're gonna do the same thing with the white. So you won't need too much white for this. Okay, and you can keep keep your brush flat this way. You can also kind of come at it um, skinny side, whatever you think. And if you feel like the white is a little bit too much, you can blend that in a little. Um, Right. And any spots that you feel like are standing out maybe too much, <laughs> uh, just add a little more of the green in there, okay? All right, so for you, you need to let this dry completely. Um, it'll take a little bit because it's acrylic. You can use um, like a blow dryer or one of those little craft dryers. Um, I am going to perform a little magic for you and make mine magically dry <laughs> and show you one I did earlier just to kind of move along the tutorial for you. So for the yellow, grab your pencil. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see where it's at when you flip it over. Uh, you can't really tell on the video, but I don't know why I have such a hard time with these um, football shapes. I always get them crooked, which is also fine, but we're just going to draw um, on the back one here and then one here, just so we know what we're doing when we cut them out. And if you need to kind of hold it up to the light to see where it's at, that's cool too. Okay, so do your cute little football shape. And if you mess up, it's fine, because this is the part that's gonna, you know, get glued down. So you can draw them first, and then hold it up and make sure you didn't skip out of the lines too much. Uh, adjust them as necessary. I like cute little fat ones. Um, as you know, lemons have kind of that little nub on both sides, so go ahead and draw those in. All right, and then same thing for the leaves over here. Um, you don't have to really draw these out. I'm not going to, but if you want, uh, those are just two easy little curves. A little bit smaller, so I'm not as particular with um, the shape of them. So let's cut out your lemons. Okay. All right, got the little nub. And already I'm going off track, <laughs> but that's okay too. All right, little nub. 
And if they don't need to be the exact same size, we'll kind of stack them with each other. So if one is the, I don't know, like a lemon runt, that's, that's cool too. All right, see? Oh my God, how cute. All right, let's do another one. Cut a little of this off. I have a hard time with the paper sometimes, so it's fine to trim it. All right. Nub all the way back around. Man, I'm telling you guys to follow the lines. I can't even follow my own lines. It's fine. They're gonna be cute. All right. Okay. Go ahead and chuck these off to the side and clean them up later. And then we're gonna cut out some cute little leaves. So you got your lemons. We're gonna do two on the first one and then be three on the bottom. You can always cut them and trim them down, rearrange them. Uh, I like to try to capture all the different little colors, you know, so this one's, this one's got some yellow in it. Get some that has a little bit of the white. Try to get them different directions too. Your paint strokes um, are all kind of going the same way. So try to cut your leaves um, different directions just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, Maybe a little baby leaf. And one more. It's okay if you cut more leaves than you end up needing. Because that happens. All right, so grab your eight by 10 piece of paper. I'll smooth that before I mess everything up. <laughs> All right, so eight by 10. Try to arrange your little lemons how you want them. I think I'm gonna have mine right here in the middle. And just play with the, um, oops. Just play with the composition of it a little bit. If you think this is something, maybe you're gonna frame it and put it in your kitchen. Think about where your frame's gonna hit. Um, if you're just doing it for fun, I don't know, have a little artistic freedom. <laughs> let's see, let's figure out this one. I want them both. You know what? Maybe this guy's on top. Yep. All right. So I like this one on top. These cute little leaves over here. Maybe this one is going to be right on the lemon. Yep. I love that. All right. So we're going to glue it down. Um, grab your glue stick or your Mod Podge or tacky glue, Elmer's glue, I don't know, whatever you're using. And let's glue this guy on the top of the lemon. Um, I'm leaving a little space uh, just because I think it's fun. If you wanted to cut little stems going from the lemon to your leaves, that's also fine. I'm not gonna track you down and penalize you. So go ahead and glue this down. Let's put this guy here. Let's do this lemon. Oops. Oh dang, I'm out of glue too. That's all right. I got a backup. Okay. See, all this craft hoarding has paid off, right? Which way was it? This way. Okay, three more. I'm gonna do this big one first.
right. Okay, and that's it. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's those are some cute lemons, right? All right, so if you try this, please tag me on Instagram. Let me know. Show me your lemons. Um, and I really enjoyed making this with you guys today.